Hello, Alien St. Hilaire here, and in this video, we're going to talk about Mesh Central SMS integration. So Mesh Central has this ability to, to communicate with SMS providers, the two leading ones, which are Twilio and Plevo, and send SMS messaging to a normal cellular phone um, from the server, from the Mesh Central server. And this should work broadly almost anywhere in the world. Of course, you will need an account with one of those providers and it will be some cost to it. The, um, the cost involved the, the getting the phone number, which is a monthly fee, and then a per SMS message um, you know, fee, which is fairly low, uh, especially since Mesh Central is not typically used for advertising or things like that. It's more used for two-factor authentication. So you won't probably be sending that many SMS messages. So let's take a look at um, a couple slides I have. So we'll start with this one. And basically what we'll do is we'll be configuring Mesh Central to use one of these two providers to send SMS messages. We will modify our uh, config.json file to put the provider, the account identifier, the, uh, the account authentication, and the phone number that you have gotten from one of those providers. And so sometimes it's not clear when you go on the web pages of Twilio and Plevo, uh, it's not clear how to get this set up. But just keep in mind that, the, that you will need um, both the ability to send SMS and a phone number from them to send SMSs from. Okay, so once you've set that up, well, you'll be able to do a bunch of stuff. <clears throat> the first one is that users will be able to set up uh, their phone numbers with Mesh Central. So there'll be an additional option that we'll see. You type in your phone number, it will send a code to your phone. You type in the verification code and that will uh, basically verify that you, the phone number that you've associated with the account is correct. Once you've done that, well, you can use it for two-factor authentication. You can click, there's a new SMS button on, for the administrator to send SMS messages to any of the accounts. Um, there is also different tools like Mesh Central Router that will support SMS two-factor authentication. And the, uh, the mobile website will also do all that stuff. So uh, SMS verification and also SMS two-factor authentication. So let's take a look at how we get all this set up. So I start with my trusty Mesh Central server. Of course, uh, I'm running it right here and it is uh, running with a bunch of computers already set up. Now, what I've done is I'm not gonna show you the, the real config.json that I'm using, but basically my config.json will have a setting section, a domain section with the default domain with a bunch of settings, but at the root level of the config.json, you will have this new SMS section that will have the provider, either Twilio or Plevo. And um, I, want, I do want to mention at this point that both services have trial accounts, so you can sign up for free. You'll get um, a, a little bit of uh, credits that you can use to get a phone number and, um, and your authentication and so on. And depending on the service provider, um, you can, uh, we'll be able to send some uh, text messages or some SS SMS messages to some limited phone numbers um, that you validate with the service ahead of time. So just with the trial account, without spending any money, without giving any cre credit card numbers, you can test that your server works correctly with SMS. And then once you've got that done, you can uh, pay a little bit to get the full service. Uh, not too expensive compared to you know the cost of hosting and stuff. It's uh, fairly cheap, and it gives you a really nice professional uh, you know service for uh, for your users. So uh, so basically, you add that section to the um, you add this SMS section, and once you have this SMS section put in, the the next time you run Mesh Central, it will add or it will uh, install new modules that it needs to support uh, SMS interaction, and it will add the right module depending on the vendor you choose. 
Now, once you've done that, you run your server and uh, a few things that will happen. One is that you will see this new manage phone number in the account security for all the accounts. And so this allows you to, um, to allows your users to start entering a phone number and validating that that phone number is correct. Now, I'm gonna go and do this step and in order for you guys to look at my phone, now, of course, I could just look at, you know, put the phone at the camera like this, but instead, because this is Mesh Central, I'm going to open a second browser. And so I'm using Firefox on the right and Chrome on the left so that I get two completely different experiences here. I am going to hit the connect button on my Android agent. The phone just popped up. I'm going to click desktop and connect and start on the phone. And there you go. So you see on the screen right here, the same screen that I see on my phone. And it is real time. So I'm going to just shrink the window, put it to a side like that. And so now you get to see what my phone sees. OK. Now I've also modified the web page because I'm a little sneaky. I can type a fake phone number here but it will, it will replace that internally with my real phone number. So I'm gonna click OK. And now it's asking for a verification code. And what you will see is that it sent me the verification code. Now this phone number on the top is the phone number for the, uh, the service that I have. So this is my trial number. But um, so it, you know, it's not an actual number that's, that you can do anything with. But it just sent me this verification code. So I can go and click here and type it. Uh, so let's see, two, eight, three. Say OK. And then it says that I added, uh, you know, you see the check marks next to the phone number. That is because I now have my phone number validated uh, onto my account. And of course, here it's telling me that. You know, when you set up two-factor authentication, you should set up two two-factor authentications. So what I can do is set up like a backup code and then copy these, or I can set up uh, my FIDO key, for example, and say add key, OK, OK, and then tap my uh, USB key, and that will be my second second factor authentication. So you, basically the website is trying to get users to at least set up two so that, you know, if you lose your phone, that you have an alternative. OK, so you're still seeing my phone here on the right. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to log out using Firefox and try to log back in. Now, once I log back in, you'll see that I'm asked for a token. And in here, I could put my, one of my backup tokens or uh, use the FIDO key, or I can use SMS. So I'm going to go ahead and click on SMS, say OK. And now it says SMS sent. And then you see the token just pop up there. And that's the token that I write. Um, by the way, the SMS message will be sent in the language that the user is watching the web page on. So if, if the user is currently looking at an English web page, the text message will be sent in English. But if you're looking at the page in another language, like Spanish or French or um, Korean, then the, the SMS message will be sent in that language. So I'm going to go ahead and. Let's see, take a look at that phone number, that uh, token again, 771118, and I say log in, and there we go, we're logged in. Now, the other thing I can do, I'm going to clear this, is that, um, of course, the users can use this as two-factor authentication, but you can also go in the list of users, and what you'll notice, first of all, in the list of users is that if you have a little phone icon, that next to the user account, that means that they have a verified phone number associated with their account. And so they can do two-factor authentication. If you have a little key, of course, that means that two-factor authentication is turned on. And if I click on the account, you will see the phone number. Now, I was sneaky. Uh, the, um, I made it so the web page displays you know, this phone number. But in reality, it's, um, it's uh, it's really my phone number here, my correct phone number that's in the website. And I can click on this button to edit and clear the phone number if I want to for a given user. Um, now, if a user that you're looking at 
And you have to be administrator, of course, of, of users to see this panel. But if they have a phone number that's valid and you have SMS turned on, you can click on the SMS button right there. And you can say, for example, hello. Say OK. And it'll say SMS sent. And there you go. The hello message just showed up on my phone. So that's really cool. Now, the, the uh, thing to understand here is that in my case, I only signed up for outbound SMS messages. So if a user sends back messages, you know, replies to a SMS message, uh, the Mesh Central is, is not equipped to go and fetch those messages and route them at all. So this is outbound only. This is not inbound at all. Um, you'll notice the security here. It says that I have security key backup code and SMS enabled. And the other thing I want to do, I won't need my phone anymore, but the other thing I want to do is go into the console of my server. And when you type help, one of the commands is SMS. And you type S SMS. And I won't uh, demonstrate it here, but you can imagine you type SMS and you type a phone number and a message. And Mesh Central will send that SMS message to that user. So now in the future, we may use SMS for more like urgent notifications and things like that. Uh, we may have users be able to subscribe to special events and SMS could be a way to get those special events to, uh, to your phone. Um, in any case, I think that's pretty much it for SMS integration with Mesh Central. It is really nice. Uh, you know, for your customers, it makes your server look really professional. Um, and uh, obviously, two-factor authentication using SMS, not the greatest or most secure way to do two-factor, but it's a, uh, you know, depending on the server you're using, it's pretty good. So hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much.